Hi, I'm Jared Gertner, and I play Elder Arnold Cunningham on the First National Tour of the Book of Mormon. Elder Cunningham is sort of the like schlubby mess up Mormon, like the runt of the litter who um, doesn't know kind of what he's doing or anything about the religion, but is just so excited because he's been paired with another Mormon, Elder Price, and now he has a best friend. He's um, off to explore the world with his best friend and has no idea he's going to Uganda where he's going to encounter horrors. <laughs> Ultimately, Cunningham, I think, just wants to fit in. He wants to fit into a group and he wants to have a friend that he can have a great time with. He's never really felt like he fit in anywhere. He's so eager to be your friend that he puts you off. It's kind of great to get to play a character that's just kind of a mess all the time. I don't think people realize how much we think about how we look in life, and I never think about it as Cunningham, so that's really liberating. We knew that it would play to a certain audience. We knew it would play to the demographic that likes South Park or whatever. The shock and the, the really pleasant surprise was that we played so well to families and to older people and to like Wednesday matinee crowds. I was going on my own mission. I would remember Chapstick. I would remember granola bars because uh, I get hungry. <laughs> and, um, and I would remember to bring Gavin Creel. Uh, I think I have a lot of Mormon rules I probably couldn't obey. Um, I think that uh, lights out at 9.30 would be really tough for me. That one probably the most. Although the Jesus, the, the um, temple garments, I'd be very excited about that role because they're super comfortable. It's like living inside of a Snuggie. I think that the message ultimately is very pro-faith and it has a lot to say about religion in that if used correctly and if you read these stories and you learn from them and you learn to be a better person from them, they can have a really important impact on people's lives. And I think that this show kind of says that in a really beautiful way.